Welcome back to Pathologic 2. Last episode, we spoke with Kane at the Nutshell, who's staying out of the polyhedron because they don't want to bring the infection back with them in case they have it. Spoke with Ava Young, a rather strange person wearing just a single sock on their feet. Um, and that's where I left off the last episode. So, for this one... Well, the only, the only mark on the map that I care about is this, speaking with Ruben to see if they've heard of the Udurg. However, looking over the map, I've just realized that there's two people who are in danger that I've not given any immunity boosting things to. Um, Vlad, the elder Vlad, and Andre Stamaton. So I really need to give them stuff and remember that death rolls its dice at midnight, which is in only three hours. Yeah, so I need I need to go to them. Do I even have stuff to boost your immunity? I have two medral tinctures. They're not plus tinctures, so not amazing, but it's something. Yeah, I should have enough time. Three hours should be enough time to go to Ruben, and then Vlad, and then Andre Stamaton. That should be fine. But I need to get going now. Put another sock on! Or even shoes. Then again, you're indoors, so I guess probably don't wear shoes indoors. What are you, some sort of gross American? I should explain that comment more. Because <laughs> I am American. What do I mean by that? I don't know. Um, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but it's actually somewhat common for people in America to not take their shoes off in their houses. In fact, I usually would not take my shoes off in my house. And guess what? The floor was dirty as shit all the time. Surprise. Take off your shoes, Americans. Are you... You're coffee dude, aren't you? Yeah. Do I need coffee? How am I doing on exhaustion? Oh, it's actually pretty damn... Uh, yeah, yeah, I want coffee. Two fingernails for coffee. Worth it. Raised my hunger. Don't have any food on me, but I do have some food back at my lair, so I'm not too worried about the hunger. Coffee dude again. So many coffee dudes. Oh, you're a water person. I don't have that much water and I need it for brewing and stuff. Raisin boy. theater, because that's where the hospital has been set up, and Ruben works there. Hey. 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 
you aren't cub anymore, Burach. Time to grow up. Yes. Stah, take a look at this sigil. It's called Uderg. Ever heard of that? More kin nonsense. They mark bulls with this. What does it matter? I have no interest in their stupid cattle brands. Uh, Mark Bowles. Well, that does fit with what we heard before. That the word might be referring to... I forgot the name of it, but basically the mother. Like the... The bowl that... Created Earth or something like that? I forgot exactly what it was. You've never come across the word. Uderg. Think for a moment. Maybe my father mentioned it. Your father wasted too much effort on that rabble. My father and I were also of the steppe. Did you somehow forget? They distracted him from his work. Wanted him to live for them, toil for them, tend to them. All they need is an owner, a protector, a caretaker. Someone to cling to like fleas draining their blood. They're all about blood. I hate Reuben. They, huh? Not you? So you think I'm a different breed? Wolves. Wolves, each and every one of them. They surround you, smother you. They wait till you're out of breath. Then they press on and on and on. They put him into an early grave. The blasted kin, and I'm soon to follow. What? You? What reason could they possibly have? Well, maybe I gave them a reason. Or maybe it's habit for them by now. Look. Take your damn sigil and get lost. You picked a curious time to study folklore. You need work or what? Let me know and I'll make you busy. Folklore. There's an idea. Doesn't Olkimski's son record step folklore? Yes. Yes. Reuben doesn't know jack shit, but he gave me an idea. Ogimsky's son studies step lore. Perhaps I could ask him. Yeah, and they're kind of... Not exactly on the way, but, you know, pretty close. <clears throat> to all the people I need to give stuff to. I think... Vlad wanted to talk to me, didn't they? I'm going to just call the older Vlad. I'm just going to call them Vlad, and I'll call... The younger one, just young Vlad. So, Vlad, young Vlad. Let's go to Vlad first. Um, well, actually, looking at the map, the easiest way to get to Vlad is to go right by young Vlad's place. So maybe not. Maybe we'll go to young Vlad first. spot to pour blood over there. Do I have blood on me? I do, but I don't have time to stop. You like needles and thimbles. Ooh, they like peanuts. Peanuts for morphine. Uh, yeah, peanuts plus a spring for morphine. That's worth it. Young lads, just up here.
I hear the herb, but I'm not going to get it. I'm just going to fall through the roof. <laughs> it's faster. The fence is as foul as the thief. Glad to see you, Barach. You mentioned that you study step rights. Does the word Uderg mean anything to you? That's what they call a bull marked for slaughter. Butchering a body imitates an act of creation. Actually, I've heard that such a ritual will take place tomorrow. We'll bring in a bull from the steppe and parade it on the streets. It's the principle of correspondence in action. Correspondence? They believe a bull's body mirrors the structure of the universe. Your Uderg is this sacrificial bull. Um, I'm not totally convinced. Can a person be called that? Well, it's complicated. I can't help with the finer points. I know a man well-versed in such things. Foreman Uyun. But there's a predicament. Uyun. I know the name. He was father's friend. So he could help me. The foreman of the abattoir. A resourceful and reliable man. Irreplaceable, even. He's a link. He helps us keep the kin under control. I need to see him. I assume he's locked in the termitary with the rest of the kin, which means he's well out of your reach. You'll have to wait until the blasted epidemic is over. I hope you're doing everything you can to end it. Yeah, so why was the termitary locked, huh? Fine, Barach, since it's you who's asking. The termitary was closed because of a massive upcoming strike. And since our workforce is rather special, it would have inevitably become a bloody, bestial riot. Do you follow me? Go on. It was a stroke of luck that it happened right before the epidemic. The strict blockade of the termitary became a quarantine. Now we can be sure that 30% of the whole town is quite safe. 30%? Did I hear you right? A fresh census is long overdue, but as far as I know, the termitary shelters about 5,000 people. Yes, the conditions are hard to bear. Crowding, poverty. But don't blame our family for that. I mean... Why wouldn't I blame your family for that? <laughs> <clears throat> I like young Vlad generally, but like... They, I still have some problems with them. They're still... An exploitive capitalist, just not nearly as exploitive as their father. I need Oyun. You bewilder me, Barach. You're a doctor, aren't you? You of all people should understand such things. Right now, the termitary is an ark, a bastion of safety. Despite the riots, despite the crowds and the possible hunger, there's water at least. Can you guarantee you won't carry the plague in on your boots? We have to think of something. This Uderg is elusive. Many know the word, but few grasp the full meaning. Foreman Oyun could explain it to me, but he's locked up with the rest of the termitary. Soon a bull will walk the town's street, uh, streets to touch it for the last time. Then it will be slaughtered. Young Vlad said it would happen tomorrow, didn't they? Alright, we need to go now. Two hours, and we have two people to give medicine to. Wait, is this... Hold on. I don't know if I actually want to go here. Yeah, this is fine. This will lead to Vlad. Vlad. 
I still need infected organs as well. I need a body. I'd give medicine to that person back there, but I really can't spare it. I only have two things of medicine left. Prophylaxis, here's some medrill. I'm gonna help you, but I hope you die. Bye. Alright, get the fuck out of here. Next stop, before midnight. We should have plenty of time to do this. Andre Stamaton. Oh, he's... Mm, I still haven't visited Angela. Angela? Was it Angela's place? The, uh, like... The person Peter Stamaton told me about. I think they're in the circus or something, or a dancer. They're not marked on the map. I mean, like, their house is marked as red, but there's no mouse over. So I don't know if I could even go in and talk to them. Because I was supposed to talk with them yesterday, I think. Or something like that. But let's go try. It's kind of along the way anyway. And I guess at that point I'll be very, very close to our house that's being robbed. I'm sure if people were robbing it that it's been robbed clean at this point, but... Maybe I should just go see what's up? I need the body of an infected person. How do I get that? Do I have to go inside of a house? Angel's place is right up here. Okay, I can go in. Hopefully I can talk with him. Oh. Hello? Oh, upstairs, probably. Oh, yeah, they're infected. Fuck. It's throw yourself in the river, brick yourself in the basement, or get sandboxed. Why are you looking at me like that? They look so creepy. They talk so normally, but they look so creepy. Anna. Anna. Anna Angel. This is my final hour. Death stands at my door. I'm not his harbinger. Actually, I'm kind of the opposite. I dreamt of Earth today. I walked barefoot across a cemetery, past bones in spring snowmelt. Why? What was the purpose of my life? Wait, bones? What was the purpose of my life? Why does that sound sort of similar to what uh, Yara was saying? The strange person with one sock. They told me about a dream too, and I thought they mentioned bones. Is that it? You're giving up? I'm from the caravan. I was with the caravan. Thought so? We kidnapped children, lured them in, turned them into circus freaks. Our maestro even sold some to anyone who could afford them. I suspended myself from the trapeze, enthralling them with my disciplined form, luring them backstage after the performance. Oh my god, you are a monster. What the fuck? I've heard of the caravan. You made the papers. This plague came after me. It's my punishment. I can't run, can't hide. So you hide away in our backwater place, then? Yes. Did you harm a lot of kids? Quite a lot. 
but I'm not good at counting. I can't even read. I was thinking I might give them the schmouter, because I there's no way I can treat them, I don't think, but since they just told me that, I guess not. I don't want to help them. Why would I want to help them? They're a fucking monster. Well, you'll have to endure hell on your own. I don't want to die. Then live. Perhaps you'll even make up for what you've done. Don't think I'm going to get to know very much about Anna Angel, but I guess I just learned the most important thing. <laughs> Can I treat them at all? I have one diagnostic tincture that I need to save for Stamaton. The bar Stamaton. I forgot which one. Peter Stamaton, Andre Stamaton. No, even saying the names out loud, I'm not sure which one is which. I could I could give them just some antibiotics, and I hope it's the right one. How much do I want to help them, really? Do I really want to use my schmouter on them? I don't think so. One in three chance. That actually work? It says treatment successful. But I wonder if that's what it would always say, and you just won't know if it was effective until later. I'm going to assume that's a good thing, though. I think, I think God has smiled on them today or something, <laughs> giving them another chance. Um, I've got an hour and a half. Hmm. I'm gonna go to Andre. Andre's the, yeah, Andre's the uh, bar owner, and Peter's the architect slash artist wait Andre is also an architect oh anyway let's go to the tavern first and then I'll come back to the house if there's time for it there probably will be oh god Whoa, oh my god. Go, 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 go. Holy shit, there's like two more people back there. What the fuck? Anna? Oh, I have like one hit point. Do I have, uh, I got a bandage, thank god. <laughs> Not much, but it's something. Can I, uh, can I use this bloody bandage? <laughs> you. Um, are they still going to be out there? I don't think I'm going to go to the house that's being robbed at all. If I have to fight anybody, I'm in extreme danger. Is there a back exit? Fuck. Alright, please don't be just like... Right out here. I think those are the people... No, no, go. Did I die? I didn't die, did I? No. Fuck. They were walking away. I think I need a sneak. Remember? Sneaking? Which I've done like 
Never? Oh, interesting art. Creepy. Okay. No, no, no. Fuck, they spotted me. Shit. See, I don't know if, like, time continues to pass out there in the sense where, like, they will walk away if I just wait in here. Is that a thing? <sighs> Fuck. Well, in case I die, I should save. There's a save point somewhere in here. Don't suppose you got some, like, stuff stored in here, Anna? Duh. I'm gonna just wait a minute. Wait for my stamina to come back. Wait, hold on. I'm, I thought you just pressed C to go into stealth, but I'm having to hold it down? C for stealth. Yeah, just C for stealth. Is control anything? Oh, right. Concentration is what that is. Okay. They seem to have gone away a bit more. Um... I probably shouldn't take this road. Can I go through, like, some back alleys? Yeah, kinda. Let's go this way. I actually maybe shouldn't sprint, really. Because if I keep my stamina, then I can defend myself better. I'll sprint a little bit, but not till I'm, like, exhausted. My hunger's almost maxed. When my hunger maxes, it's gonna start hurting me. And I'm almost dead anyway. Fuck. Maybe I should stop by the grocery store? My home's also here. And there's food there, but... Oh, man. This is bad. I don't even have nuts on me to nibble on. <sighs> Holy shit! Lifesaver. Literally. Yeah, I'm not going to the grocery store then. Okay. Pub is just right over here. Herb! Do I have time? 40 minutes? Yeah, it's fine. Ah! Alright, they're chasing someone else. Uh, I think that's an asshole right over there. If there's no one else around, I'll give him a good punch. Yeah, there's no one else around. If it's just one, I can take him no problem. Calm down. Give me your shit. What a pittance. Pathetic. <sighs> How much time? Twenty five minutes. buddy. Good luck. Hmm. Probably worth buying the nuts. 
yeah, heck, I'll buy them all. Uh, today people want White Whip. Oh, hell no, I'm not giving you the specials. I want them... I, I hope they want Blood Twire soon, because I have a shit ton of that. Do you even know where it grows? <laughs> I'm sure they don't. Should I buy more food? Like, I have milk back at home, but that's, that's going to restore my bar maybe halfway. I can trade for food, right? Yeah, it's fine. Let's go. I think I'm just going to go home right now and just sleep. I'm exhausted. I need to get my health back. Only other thing to do right now is just Father's house is being robbed, but like one punch and I'm down. I don't exactly want to go to the dead item shop that bad. I don't think I have that many dead items. So, I think I'll just sleep through the the play, I guess. Oh fuck, that's a dead end right. Do you want to talk or are you just... No, just still hanging out here. 